So I was sitting here thinking earlier, what video am I going to do? I don't have any ideas for anything. Nobody's done anything particularly... What the fuck? I can't get frame right. Nobody's done anything particularly stupid lately. And then I checked Twitter. Twitter will never, ever let me down in these terms. Ever, ever, ever. A man, I think he's 22 years old in Florida, stuck his penis into a beehive. Stuck his penis into a beehive. Why did he do this? Because he's been sexually attracted to bees ever since he saw the bee movie as a kid. What he there had to have been warning with him. There had to have been warning that something was wrong. Did he walk, did he like come out of the womb like, you know, gangly and cross-eyed and saying, I love pudding, I love pudding. There had to be something mentally wrong with him from the jump. This could have not just been like a normal dude who one day is like, you know what, I want to fuck a beehive. I really want to fuck a beehive and see if anything weird would happen. Why would you think that's a good idea? Why would you, why not just stick your dick in a paper shredder? Why not be attracted to those too? I'm sure there is somebody who's out there like that. What the fuck is wrong with everybody now? I think it's cell phones. I really do. I think ever since fucking cell phones came out, we had that shit to our head for a long, long time before we had like Bluetooth and all that. I think me and people fucked up. I think people were sitting there talking and, you know, back in 99, 2000, had kids in the womb and all that shit and it was fucking making them retarded because this is bullshit. And stuck his dick in a fucking beehive. In a beehive. Didn't I, where, first of all, where do you go finding a beehive? I mean, I don't live in Florida or whatever. I mean, I guess it's not too hard to go find one, but how the fuck aren't beehives like high? Like, I have questions. Like, did he, like, get a ladder and, like, okay, it, there we go. It's time. Yeah, all right. That's a hot beehive. Ooh, it's glistening. It's glistening. Let me put the ladder. Oh, yeah. Dad, daddy like that. Okay. See, I can't just go right in. I'm going to have to stab a hole in it. He couldn't have just gone in the beehive. Maybe there is a hole in the beehive. I guess it would be an entryway. Okay, so maybe, like, turned it around. Did he lube it up? That's one I know. Did he just get do one of the, did he do, like, a shitty, like, a uh, hooker lube? Like, <laughs> But did he do a couple of those or did he actually bring some like KYs like kind of slap it on there while I was getting stung in his stupid hand then suck his stupid dick in there and got stupidly stung like a stupid ass. The fuck is wrong with you? The fuck? He should have been left to die. This is what's wrong with America. This is wrong with every country right now. You leave him out there when they call up 911 emergency. What's the emergency? Oh my God, you want to send an ambulance? Okay, what happens? Guy's twitching, shaking, screaming in pain. What, do you, what happened, do you think? Was he mugged? Was he stabbed? Now stuck his dick in the beehive. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta make a couple stops first. I gotta go to Costco, uh, get a couple donuts, uh, you know, sit in my uh, emergency vehicle and beat beat myself off than my partner. Yeah, we'll, be, we'll give us about five, six hours. Yeah, yeah. And I'd have been dead by then, better off. Fucking stuck his dick in a BI. I hope he went to his psych ward after that. They should have locked his ass up right the fuck away. If he got out, but seriously, what kind of psychiatrist could you even deal with at that point? Can you imagine being a psychiatrist and having to take this with a straight face? I could have never been a psychiatrist. First of all, because I'm batshit crazy myself. I got my own issues, trust me. But, but having to listen to the shit that people come up with now, I really think I should have been born as somebody who's paralyzed. So I'm, I want to make myself paralyzed because I identify myself as a paralyzed individual. You do? Yeah, that's that, that syndrome that... Shut the fuck up. Die, die, die. <laughs> that would be my solution to everything. I swear to God. Oh, uh, my next patient here. Yeah. Um, okay, what's your name? Your name's Jeff, right? Okay. Well, what's going on today? Jeff, why are you in the psych ward? And why is your uh, dick all bandaged and bruised? And I mean, I wouldn't even notice it usually, but it's really, really swollen. It looks like you have like, you know, cantaloupe in your pants right there. Either you're blessed or something is horribly wrong. What happened? Stuck dick in beehive because you are, you are, you have Down syndrome? No Down syndrome. Um, you were hit on the head with a two by four by your evil alcoholic stepfather over and over, which made you kind of, you know, uh, no stepfather. Okay. And, um, you were tripping acid that somebody gave to you at a party because you don't usually take that stuff. And you thought the beehive was Rihanna's vagina. Is that what happened? No, you're attracted to bees because you saw the bee movie as a kid. Okay. There's some pills here. I mean, it says cyanide, but it, it's not. It's a new um, drug that will help you deal with those feelings. But yeah, just take a few right now. Don't tell anybody. Close, I'm going to lock the door real fast. I mean, you might start twitching and shit, but it's fine. It's fine. Wait till you start spasming out on the floor. Like, okay, bye, bye. We waste money with these fucking people. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with all of these fuckers? I mean, that's something else somebody mentioned to me. Let's forget about Mr. B-Boy for a second. With his, You deserve whatever you get. That dick is never going to recover from that. I'm telling you right now. If he's stuck in a beehive, what is it, like millions, thousands, 
100 billion bees in a fucking beehive, or at, low, at least so it seems. After all that stinging and shit like that, that shit ain't never going to work right. He should get it chopped off. I'm for it in this case. Take him, let's neuter him. Take him to the anti-cruelty society. <laughs> fucking just put, tell him he's a dog. Like, they won't know the difference. They're fucking, you know, board employees over there anyway, probably just smoking weed on the breaks while, you know, they're pretending to help the dogs by giving them a bath with really just like spraying them with a hose. Like, okay, are you dry yet? You dry yet, Wags, or whatever your name is? God, we can't get rid of it. It's 100 years old. <laughs> but seriously, there's a group of people now, somebody told me, and I had to look this up because I thought this was bullshit. Where it was LJ, LJ Draco, and, you know, signed up to his channel. He reviews blue tubes and boobs and tubes. I, he does things, and I like him. He's a good guy. But he told me there's a group of people who identify as handicapped. But they weren't born handicapped, but they were meant to be born handicapped. They were in the wrong body. So there was a case, this is true, where a woman decided she should have been born blind. So she, of course, asked her psychiatrist, you know, I think I should have been born blind. Even though I wasn't, I can see perfectly. I felt this way my entire life. It's a struggle. Her doctor, her doctor, not, you know, uh, a drunk at the bar who thought it might be a good idea while he was downing, you know, fucking whatever drink of choice he had, like 80 fucking billion pounds of scotch. A, doc, a psychiatrist helped her with eye drops that blinded her. And she should now get benefits. no. No, 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 no. You don't get any benefits. You don't get stupid benefits. Now, benefits are for disabled people and people who have like really fucked up issues. I should know. But you being dumb don't get any benefits. Put that bitch out on the street. Let's make it fun. Put that bitch out on the street and put cones all around her so we can just see her like wobble and fall every five seconds and laugh because that's what you deserve, you crazy bitch. My mom was disabled, okay? I know a lot of people went through a lot of shit to be disabled. To do that type of shit on purpose because you feel you should be born that way? No, you need a fucking lobotomy at that point. It's ridiculous. The fucking it, it, We coddle these people. This is what's wrong with millennials. And I, I know I sound like a grandpa now. I get it. I'm a Gen Xer. I get it. People like the boomers and shit were like, oh, Gen X, they suck. They want certain rights. I understand. But it was never this bad. It never was. I didn't want a safe space. I never wanted to, you know, be identified as Ziza, Zerze, or a lawnmower if I fucking felt like it. This is what the fuck is wrong with it. And it's, I'm, I'm fine with giving people what they want up to a point, but eventually it leads to this shit. It leads to guys sticking their dicks in beehives and thinks it's okay. I bet you there's a group that supports them. I'll bet you right now there's a little college campus group that, but he has a right to, you know, like bees. Bee love is fine. We're going to protest. We're not going to shower or, you know, wear deodorant, but we're going to dye our hair funky colors, wear really cool t-shirts and protest for him because it's his right. If he identifies as a bee lover, that's okay. Bee lovers all the way. Bee lovers all the way. Fuck it. This is what the fuck is wrong. You have too much time on your fucking hands, all these people. No, he's got other things on his hands at this point. Fuck if he's got bandages on his hands, he probably... I still want to know how that worked. I still am dying to know how that fucking worked. Up to a beehive. How many thrusts did he get in, do you think? Did he climax? I mean, did he, I mean, he was getting stung right away. Like, he's like, oh, shit, oh, shit. I'm almost there, fuck it. I'm almost, oh, that, be, that poor beehive. Can you imagine those poor bees, like, just sitting in there chilling? They're having a good time. Like, oh, man, there's lots of honey, everything. What the fuck is that? What is that, like, weird shriveled white thing coming? Why is that? What? Oh, 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 what the fuck is this shit? This isn't honey. This doesn't take, this is bitter. It's coming out of that thing. Let's start attacking it. Fuck it, you even fucked their day up. You should be tried for animal abuse. Or insect abuse, whatever the fuck. I'm sure Peter would go for it. Why not? Somebody somewhere is being mean to bees. His ass and his penis is. Oh, my Jesus. I can't believe that was real. I can't. But, yeah. So, that's that. That's my little bitch for the day. And I hope you liked it. Um, you got something else you want me to do on this channel? Like, any stories you think I should follow up on, whatever? Always leave them in the comments. Because I barely find things. I, I do look at comments. So, you got me there. JBTV2, I do reviews on movies. You know, new old, whatever, had to have seen it, had to have seen it, TV shows, music, in my own way, you know, it's not going to be, so, you know, and then the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and I'm going to be like, this actress sucked, this one, you can tell she had fake titties from a mile away, this guy, I don't even know how how he got in the movie, he must have sucked off two or three producers, matter of fact, I think he did, because he was saying his lines, his was like this here, it's that kind of way, so if you want me to like review a movie or something like that, that'll be on JBTV too, you can also shout that out, or do go to my community page here on YouTube. Sound like a professional. Go to my YouTube community page. And also, I do have a podcast. So check it out. Check out my podcast. It's on my community page as well. A link to it. You get more of me. Lucky you. Lucky you. Merry Christmas. You're welcome. You're welcome. Beehive. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go right now. I forgot to tell you. I'm really attracted to the ends of uh, lawnmower twirling. 
I really am. I'm, I'm, it's getting me hard thinking about it. I got to go find one and just mangle myself. 